All right, welcome back, my dear students. And today, uh, we're going to apply right away what we have learned, okay? So, yeah, this one right here are, cons are just concepts, but uh, they're, very, they're kind of pre-requested. That's why we took time uh, explaining that. Uh, but actually, that was a quite uh, a very, very short, you know, uh, explanation. I did my best. Uh, what I, what I, uh, so far, uh, uh, I, I, in my best judgment, that was enough for you for us to be able to make use of this uh, in the most practical way, all right, uh, on how developers do this in practice. So uh, let's go ahead and create uh, a new folder, okay, uh, in our uh, desktop, in our project folder. Let's create here um, using variables, okay? That's what I'm naming my folder. You can name it whatever you want. Just take note of, of what you have put in there and click select folder. All right, so now we're in here. So to make it simple, I'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's create first our index.html. And... Yeah, can we make this live? Yes. All right, let's open it with live server. Or you can just drag it over here if you want to. Yeah, I'm using live server. Sometimes it not it doesn't work. Sometimes not for some reason. Maybe it uh, needs some patch from a uh, developer. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and create our um, JavaScript file. I'll name it app.js. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure to put .js as your file extension. All right, so uh, yeah. All right, so uh, for index.html, let's start our code here, the default HTML uh, starting code. And let's link our JavaScript right over here. All right, and do that. So what we're going to do is let's create a button or maybe an input, all right? An input with a type of text and the placeholder let's say um, uh, enter your enter a text it's like that okay a generic uh, placeholder save your work i refresh our page now we have this all right so wait a minute oh yeah this is the live server okay and let's have a button uh, that says uh, submit okay Right, right over here uh, let's just enclose it with the div so that uh, it's right over here okay all right refresh this I'm not sure why okay all right so uh, maybe I think let's get rid first with this text right here the placeholder what I mean Let's get rid of the placeholder. We wanted to make this as simple as possible. All right. And let's put an H1 here at the top. It says my form. Okay. It's a big one. Maybe H4. All right. So what we're going to do is we will already use our knowledge about variables. Okay. So we have uh, discussed a little bit about uh, manipulating HTML elements and uh, also variables. So we're going to put those knowledge together. So here, we know that we can target an element. For example, this element right here, the input. Let's put, uh, let's put an ID here. Let's say my underscore text box. Okay, that's our ID and for our form let's put an id that says my title okay for the input uh let let's go ahead and copy this and uh, make this as our variable so what we're going what we're trying to do is we are naming our variable exactly uh uh, the same with the ID in our HTML page. So we can say equal to, equal to what? Equal to document dot get element by ID, all right? But we're going to use query selector. 
Okay, that's the best practice. Query selector, an HTML element with an ID of my text box. We're using the pound sign because it's an ID, not a class. All right, so basically this is what we know. All right, this one right here. We know this, that we are targeting the this element right over here. All right, but uh, we just discussed variables and now what we're trying to do here, we are setting this uh, uh, whatever is in here we are putting we are storing it in this variable all right so uh, maybe we will uh, uh, but for now let's comment this out all right i know that maybe this one sounds like complicated right now for now let's comment that out let's 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 start first with the more familiar this one right here okay uh, our h4 element with an id of my title okay uh, let's target that okay you can say document dot query selector and then we can say you can paste the title there what I did is I copied the uh, ID here and paste it here and we can say inner HTML equal to we're going to change it and we know, know this already right now it says form okay but we are go going to change it to something else let's say my website Okay, so you can see it changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine our knowledge about variables. Okay, so we can say now that we can say let my title. It, it can be anything, all right. It can be just this one, my title. Maybe let's uh, just just uh, for demonstration purposes. All right, I will name it title because it can be anything as long as it is, it is a valid variable and you know already the rules of naming a variable. I'm going to set it to equal to this. All right. All right, let me just type it manually so you can uh, relate. So let title, let, before we, can, we, we just say, we just put some text here and then do it like that. But right now, what we're going to do is we can say, document that's a query selector and then my title okay uh, this one right here should be the same with what we have right here in the id okay but this one right here can be a different uh, uh spelling right we can do that and then semicolon here right comment this one out first because we already know how to do that all right but i'm introducing you another concept that is related to that which is what developers are actually doing in the field so let title is equals to document that query selector and then targeting the id so what you can do now is since we have stored this in here you can now say title dot inner html is equals to let's say um, this is my form Okay, save your work and let's see it in a browser now it says this is my form all right did you see that all right I hope it, it makes sense to you so we know already that we can do this one right here okay but what we're doing is we are we are storing everything in here into this variable now we can now uh, because you know already that we can say here inner that HTML then we do this all right okay i'm trying to introduce to you the the most practical way in using javascript right now because i want just like me when i was learning javascript i want i'm really excited and i'm so hurry uh, so hasteful to create a real project right away so that's what i'm trying trying to do right now i know that you really wanted to make a project as soon as possible to create your product as soon as possible to become a programmer as soon as possible to become a developer as soon as possible so that that's what we're doing right now because if you know already the the fundamental on how to create a project you can just basically search all the javascript functionality that you don't know and you will be able to apply it all right because you already know how to make one especially when you already created one project all right so now we, we, al we already know that by storing the, the element in here in the title we can manipulate it using this way all right in fact you can now say right let's go back here in fact you can now say title 
title.style.color hold on title.style.color is equals to red for example now we can turn it into red as you can do you see that do you see the advantage of have, having a variable here we don't have to type the long uh, code doing this query selector and then targeting the my title id in our html element and then we can say style that color all right that red okay we don't have to do that anymore because we already store this part right here into our variable so we can just do this all right title that style that color that red okay so we can also say title that style okay style that background is equals to let's say blue let's see if it works all right now it has a background bl uh, blue with this uh, with, uh, with a shorter code because we have stored the this element inside the title in fact if we're going to go here in our in your chrome browser and then press f12 okay f12 in your console tab let's type the title here and let's say what's what's in there you see that all the entire h4 is stored in our variable okay let me maximize this make it bigger for you to see clearly in your screen so before what's what's inside our variable is just uh you know a, a few string right now we have stored everything look at that that's that's this is literally the, the html element okay it says uh, h4 here and that's the id and then the color now is reflecting because uh, we have used javascript to put that in there all right remember remember in our html file we don't have that attribute this is style we don't have it we can, we can put it here manually but it's more dynamic because it's here in our ja in, in our JavaScript code okay all right I hope that makes sense to you that uh, the most important thing that you can take from this video is we can store an entire HTML element like the entire of this one and then we can manipulate it from there all right so we're gonna be doing more uh, manipulation in the next video I'm trying to transition this as, as, as smooth as possible for you as a beginner but I'm also trying to make this as fast as possible for you to become a developer all right see you in the next video and take care my friend all right have a good one